Lofty Crandall here and today I thought I would try something a little bit new and exciting and that is kind of more of a collage style art piece in which I don't use any paint or anything else I just use some paper and I actually happened to get this little guy off of a tissue box as you can see here it was from the Wegmans tissues and here's the other one that I did not cut out yet um, but I cut out the one that was on this side, and here it is. I'm also going to use this color block paper. I've got two different pads of color block designer paper, which I am going to use for this piece. And these are all just like pads of various papers that you can use for like scrapbooking and stuff like this. <laughs> I have here as well my scissors and some embellishment glue because for some reason I don't own a glue stick. Don't know why, but this is what we have. So this is what we're working with. Without any further ado, let's see what we can create, shall we? So the first part of this journey, if you will, into collage art was planning out my piece and deciding how I wanted it to look overall before I glued anything down to the page. I had a bunch of paper that I kind of had a firm idea around because I had the lighthouse to kind of base my design off of. So I knew that I could use the paper that I had to really kind of craft the idea of a sunset over water uh, with the lighthouse being the focal point. Uh, and I also had this little sun from one of the pieces of paper as well. So. I had a good range of paper to kind of make exactly what I had in my head, but in the planning phase, I kind of worked through how exactly that would fit on the piece of paper because you can have a great idea, but until you actually start manipulating the paper and kind of putting it into practice, it can be somewhat difficult to tell what exactly you're trying to do. I realized this partway through the process as I decided to add a drop shadow behind the lighthouse, realizing that, you know, in theory, the light is cast uh, from behind the lighthouse, so the other side of the lighthouse would be in shadow. And then I also figured out that I would want to make a base for the lighthouse, just based off the fact that I have a lighthouse near to my house that I visit all the time, and it has a very prominent base to it, so I wanted to capture that in this collage as well. Here you see me laying out the rest of my paper as far as getting the sunset type gradient to the sky. I didn't have a good yellow paper, so I kind of missed the yellow tones in the sunset as the sunburst piece of paper had very limited yellow tones to it. I also lacked a darker blue color. This was the darkest blue that I had, so I honestly just decided to make do with what I had. As you can see, I chose um, different orientations of the darkest blue paper that I had, such that the water would be a horizontal and the sky would be a vertical orientation of that paper. Again, I had the small sun to kind of pull it all together and it was absolutely adorable if I do say so myself. Once I had the piece all planned out, I got to cutting out all of my shapes. So this took a little while to do from the sunburst perspective because I knew that I wanted to be able to see the gradient that I had crafted from behind the sun. Although arduous, I do think that this really lent itself to the piece and I think that it was definitely worth doing in the end. I really liked the concept of the sunburst and really liked how it kind of pulled this entire piece together. Once it was all cut out, I then continued to cut out other shapes that I needed, such as, again, that base piece to my lighthouse, the little sun, <laughs> and just everything else that I felt I would need to make the piece look right. It kind of took a little bit of maneuvering to get everything the way that I wanted it to be, as is the case I would imagine with every collage. <laughs> uh, I admit I'm not the most uh, skilled collagist. This was one of the first that I've done, so it took a little bit of a learning curve to get all of the paper down to the sizes that I needed for this piece to be able to glue them into my sketchbook. 
Overall, this was an extremely relaxing process though, so I would highly recommend it if you're looking for something new to kind of add to your sketchbook. It does add a little bit of a multimedia approach to your sketchbook and again, is just really fun to kind of work through, figure out, and a really relaxing process just cutting through different paper, um, paper sizes, etc. I then set to work working on the background of the piece, trying to get all of those papers to align with both the top of the sketchbook and with each other. I think that this turned out really well in the end, although here in the beginning it kind of took a lot of maneuvering again. I then decided to add my sunburst back in and then had a change of thought as I realized that the sunburst could use some drop shadows as well. Unfortunately, when I glued these on, I glued them in the wrong orientation such that they came out on the opposite side, not realizing that that would be my problem. But in this planning phase, I do think that they looked really well uh, on the side of the sun that they were on. I kind of fiddled with the final orientation of this piece just a bit more because I wanted to make sure that I had it right before I started to get the glue out and really, you know, hammer it on uh, permanently to this sketchbook. Compositionally, this piece took a little bit of finagling, but in the end, I do think that it came out really cute. And I think that the lighthouse really stood out as the focal point of the piece, which is exactly what I wanted. The glue that I used actually ended up working really well. I do think that a glue stick would have been easier. However, the embellishment glue kind of drizzled over the edges, if you will. And so I was able to kind of smooth over the glue and it made some really fun textures in this piece. So if all you have is a liquid glue, like an Elmer's glue, or in my case, an embellishment glue, I highly recommend that you still try this out because you don't need a glue stick and the embellishment glue, again, can make some really cool like wavy textures in your sketchbook. Overall, I think that these textures really lent themselves to the piece and I'm kind of excited to try this out again, intentionally incorporating different textures in addition to maybe different types of media as far as like newspaper paper, book paper, this crafting paper, and just different like a different textile experience for, you know, me and whoever else might happen to see my sketchbook. I think that that would be a really fun approach and something that you might want to incorporate if you give this a try. It was really fun as well to figure out the correct way to glue these on as far as the order of the pieces of paper. I very easily could have made a mistake and glued something in the wrong order, and it would have been an interesting challenge to kind of figure out how to navigate around that. So as I continue to try collaging, I think what I'm going to do is kind of, again, expand into different medias, but maybe also experimenting with the order in which I glue things on to make it, again, more textured and more interesting to the viewer. There are so many things that you can do with this kind of medium, and it is so much fun to explore. Hello Alice actually did a video on making her own collage recently that I really enjoyed, so I'm going to link that down below in the description in case you want to check it out for further inspiration and collage art. If you happened to come here from that video or any other collage art video, I'd love to hear about it down below because I am really interested in expanding my own skill set in this medium and could really use some recommendations and help if you are also on this journey of making collage art. Overall, I had a really brilliant time making this piece. Again, it was extremely therapeutic. I really loved the subject matter that I had in the lighthouse, and overall, I was really, really happy with how it turned out. I'd love to hear your thoughts down below as to how you think that it turned out, and I would really appreciate your feedback and also a like on this video if you did happen to like it. Feel free to subscribe to my channel as well. I post new art and book-related content every single Tuesday and occasionally on Fridays. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I do really appreciate it and would again love to hear your feedback or just start a dialogue down in the comments below and I'll be happy to respond. As I glue on the final elements of this piece, 
I'm reflecting upon my summers and getting to go to the lighthouse by my house again and kind of exploring some further lighthouses that are nearby that I don't need to travel too far to given the fact that we are still in the pandemic. I can't wait to have that experience again and I hope that this piece kind of reflects for you that summer atmosphere and those beautiful sunsets by the water if you've experienced that or perhaps a sunset over whatever city or landscape that you are more familiar with. Additionally, I hope with the smile of the sunset that it gives you some happiness and joy for your day. Thank you again for watching. I do appreciate it, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!